Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is a major drawback of sole proprietorships? When considering the structure of a business, one of the simplest forms is the sole proprietorship. This type of business is owned and operated by a single individual with no distinction between the business and the owner's personal assets. In a sole proprietorship, the owner has complete control over the business and can make decisions without needing to consult anyone else. This structure is often appealing due to its simplicity and low startup costs. There is little to no required paperwork to file with the state, and there are no filing fees or costs associated with maintaining the business. However, despite these advantages, there are significant drawbacks to consider. One of the most critical disadvantages is the issue of liability. Since a sole proprietorship is not considered a legal entity separate from the owner, there is no distinction between personal and business liability. This means that the owner's personal assets are at risk if the business incurs debts or faces lawsuits. Creditors can go after the owner's home, savings, investments, and other personal assets to settle business obligations. This unlimited personal liability can be a major deterrent for many entrepreneurs as it exposes their personal wealth to significant risk. Unlike corporations or LLCs, which offer some level of protection by separating business and personal assets, sole proprietorships leave the owner fully exposed. Additionally, raising capital for a sole proprietorship can be challenging. Without the ability to sell shares or ownership interests, sole proprietors often rely on personal savings, credit cards, or small personal loans to fund their business. This limitation can hinder the growth and expansion of the business. In terms of taxes, while sole proprietors report business income on their personal tax returns and may benefit from lower tax rates, they are also responsible for paying self-employment taxes. This can add to the overall tax burden and may complicate tax filing. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.